Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to be reading a story today called The Great Monster Hunt. The author of this book is Norbert Landa. The author is the person who writes the book. And the illustrator is Tim Warns. And the illustrator draws the pictures. Just from looking at the front cover of my book, I can tell that this is probably going to have a few characters that are animals, like an owl, a bear, a pig, and maybe a wolf. Um, and I can also tell by the front cover of my book that it's probably going to be fiction, because I don't know about you, but I've never seen a wolf carrying an umbrella and a lantern before. So if you have, you'll have to let me know. Um, but I haven't, so I'm probably thinking that this book is going to be fiction, which means not real. Um, starting the week after spring break, we are going to be talking about nonfiction books a lot. So, um, enjoy these fiction books while you can. The Great Monster Hunt. Early one morning, a Funny noise woke up Duck. It sounded like pss, pss, and it came from right under the bed. Duck was not quite sure what it was, and he was much too afraid to look. Instead, she jumped out of bed and ran for help. Pig! Duck yelled. There's something under my bed, and it's making strange sounds, and it goes... Grr. Psst, psst, grr, asked Pig. Oh my, we need someone really strong to help. Stay right where you are. And Pig ran off to find Bear. Pig told Bear all about the frightening noise under duck, Duck's bed. It goes, psst, psst, grr, bang, bang. Story's changing a little bit, isn't it? I wanted to tell you, Bear, because you're so strong. Bear lifted a huge log. It is true. I am strong enough for almost anything. But we better find someone who is loud enough to chase this thing away. So they ran to find Wolf, who was about to start his early morning howling. Bear told him the dreadful news about the terrifying thing under Duck's bed. It goes, pss, pss, grr, bang, bang, wham, wham, all the time, Bear said. We thought you could help us frighten it away. Oh, yes, I can, said Wolf proudly. There is no match for what I can do. Just listen. Ho! But maybe we also need someone very clever. What's an animal that's usually said to be very clever? Clever means very smart. Let's see. So they ran to find Owl. Listen, Wolf said. There is a dreadful and terrifying sound under Duck's bed. It goes, pss, pss, grr, bang, bang, wham, wham. Growl. Seems like each character starts adding more and more sounds that they're hearing from under Duck's bed. Do you, you see that too? Owl was lost for words. We thought you might know what it was because you're so clever. Owl said, clever? Yes, that is what I am. So I can tell you one thing. Thing. Duck is in great danger. <gasps> Pig, bear, and wolf huddled close together. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Can you imagine anything kind and cuddly making such a noise? It must be a monster, yelled Pig. What are we going to do? The only way to deal with a monster, said Owl, is to trap it. So the animals set about gathering rope and nets and useful pokey things. Then the four of them bravely set off towards Duck's house. 
Ooh. Owl led the way because trapping the monster was his clever idea. Next came Wolf, howling loudly. Then came Bear with his monster buster stick. Last was Pig clutching her great monster catcher net. Finally, they arrived at Duck's house and flattened their ears against the door. But no monster sound was heard. No screaming or crying or calling for help. Maybe we're too late, whispered Bear. Oh no, said Pig in despair. Duck, are you in there? Then the door slowly creaked open. It was Duck. You're here, she said. Duck, you're in great danger, whispered Bear. There's a monster under your bed. Duck looked ready to faint. A monster? How do you know? Because it goes pss, pss, grr, bang, bang, wham, wham, growl, and whoo, Al added. Come on, let's get it and the animals charged into Duck's house. Up the stairs they crept, and they heard a sound. Psst, psst, it went, and it came from right under Duck's bed. Owl flashed his lantern, and the animals gasped. That means they said, oh! They could not believe their eyes. Psst, psst. What do you guys think it's going to be? There's no monster. Right under Duck's bed, there was a tiny mouse snoring softly in his tiny bed. Psst, psst. Well, I've never, Duck said. Do you know what we've just done? Al smiled. All feeling rather silly, the animals looked at each other and giggled. We've just made a monster out of a mouse. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book, The Great Monster Hunt.